Hello, and welcome back to another rousing edition of Fixing Things on a Honda Accord. Um, this is going to be how to install a CV, CV axle, and it's for the front passenger side. Um, I can see i got my tone ring here, so my ABS um, will work. Boots are all in order. This one looks kind of greasy. I didn't see any tears in the boots, so I'm not too worried about it. Plus, buy from Auto's only got a lifetime warranty on it, so I could take it and tear the boots off it, go back and get a new one for free. Uh, I've got a new axle nut, so I won't have to worry about reusing my old one. Might even be able to stake it in this time. <laughs> um, you can see here we got the tear on that new boot I put on, which isn't all that bad. There's still some grease in there. Joint moves okay. The real reason I'm replacing it is because the um, inner boot tore and there was just tons, there was no grease in there, and there was just tons of dirt getting in there. On top of that, this ring um, flew off and tore up a $100 transmission sensor, so I wasn't real pleased about that. I'm also getting like a bang in the front end, which I'm thinking, hoping, is play from these bearings in there. Um, I guess we'll see after I install this if that solves the problem or if there's something else going on. Um, took it to a shop, and they, they checked out everything, said literally everything in the front end is solid. So, maybe motor mounts, I don't know. We'll see if this fixes it. I don't really want to do motor mounts right now. It's kind of really hot in here, <laughs> even with the fan. All right, I'm trying to take this off and do it. Well, I'll put this in the, the fork here. Fit, oh, God damn it! didn't think about that. There we go. Now I want to disconnect that fork. All right, got it in the way here. Um, obviously, inside's gonna go inside, and outside will go through this hole. Um, really wish I had my chest mount right now, but it's inside, so I guess this will. Open. You can see where I'm trying to push that in there. At first, it should go in there fairly easily. It just gotta line up the teeth. Once you do that, you need to push it into the lock clicks. You know it's in there because there's still inch of space on the back end there. And I'm gonna have to uh, bang this in through. Hopefully, I can just do it with my hands. Won't need to use any tools. There we go. I felt it click in. Um, if you look in there. There's going to be no space or very little space between the, the transmission and the, whatever you want to call this for the axle. No space right back here. So it's in there, it's seated, the lock ring has grabbed on the transmission. So the inner boat, inner joint is in there. Now we need to get the outer joint to come out through here. So the brakes are not engaged, so we can spin the rotor if we need to. Still hot though. And feels like I need a new ball joint soon. Awesome. Maybe that's what my clunky noise is. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And then for the ball joint, we're just going to have to get that to sit in the hole. You can tell it's it's kind of loose here. So it's probably time. And given I've got those funky noises, I'm going to look there first. Plus, again, with the lifetime warranty model zone, I, I work there by the way, that's why I'm kind of pushing it. Um, anything goes wrong with that, just take it back in new one for free. doesn't want to fit. I don't really want to go move my steering wheel again, but I might have to. Uh, <clears throat> yep, 
yep, I think I'm gonna have to move the steering wheel. And I've got this to deal with. Alright, sit tight just one second. You know what, I'm just gonna grab, hold it like this. into that. Feels like I fell out of it. Should still be able to see what I'm doing here. Uh, so now I've got an issue of where the axle doesn't want to go all the way in. Try to get it to slide out. Slide out through there. And then we'll try to get a nut on it. I'm thinking that might be our issue right now. Watch this harness when I'm done with it. So nice the first time. There we go. Alright, that's not what I need. There we go. That's on there. Should keep the axle from falling back in while we get the ball joint seated. Oh, or it'll just make it all really heavy. Ta da! Um, usually I keep a uh, little magnetic tray for all my nuts and bolts, but there's very, very few of them this time. Found it. Tighten that guy back up on there. Again, I don't have a cotter pin. Just put back in there. Technically you should, but I'm not really worried about it. Well, you know, my ball joints are also bad, so I'll be replacing those within the week, I guess. Hopefully it's not spinning. Feels like it's going on there, right? I just want to do hand tight. I've learned from experience that if you put an impact on that, it's going to spin the ball in there. I don't really want to do that. That's all set. Everything else up here is all set. All I'm going to do is tighten that down. That one I don't want to come off, even though I don't think there's a lot that's going to happen to it. But I'm going to uh, well, spin it back on by hand first. It's easy. And what I grabbed to make that push out was just the back of this right here. Now I'll go ahead and impact this guy back on there. Put the tire back on. Take it for a test drive. It's 
good to me. Um, this. I don't really want to miss and hit these studs. <laughs> I'll take apart a bunch of what I just did. Where's my chisels? Let's use those. I can make that go in there further. Really, I don't. I don't usually do this. I kind of just impact it on and leave it. Yeah, I'm tired of doing that. I'll impact it on a little bit more. Turn to three. Ta-da! Move my shit out from underneath the car. Put the tire back on. Call it good. Yeah, see, I did have a jack stand under there. Reach it under there and make sure that ball joint's all the way tight because no cotter pin, I don't want not want that guy coming out. It was good to me. You guys saw it, you know if it's tight or not. <laughs> Thank you. 